Hello everybody, welcome to episode 11 of Let's Play Sword Coast Legends, The Adventures of Elisander. I'm Game God Fluent. Um, I went in that secret door, I thought I was recording and I wasn't, but I went in the secret door and there was a chest in here. We've got 91 gold, roaring honey drops, honey mixed with spices formed into a ball, a silver gemstone pendant for 250. This thick silver chain is adorned with a large gemstone pendant that shines brightly. It is less commonly seen among the streets compared to other necklaces, and a scroll of Thunder Wave rank 2. Interesting. Take all that stuff. So, it's been about a week since I've played. Scroll of Conjure Monster rank 2, plus one hammer, one handed, and a loop for 136. As you wish. Um, so I've got to kind of get back in the swing of things here, so bear with me. 82 gold, blue eyes grapes. This variety of grapes is named for its bright blue color and grows about corm or Ravager of Cacophony deals one thunder damage on hit, two to eight slashing, a rage potion, and a healer's kit. Um, let's check that out actually on Jarhild. Hmm, I guess she can't use Battle Axe. Wait, I clicked Jarhild. <laughs> Alright. Okay, she's using something good. Alright. So, we can sell that to the vendor. Uh, come out of here. I'm trying to remember this dungeon layout. Let's see. There were doors back here, weren't they? That was the gelatinous cube room. Right, there was doors down here. And there's doors over here, so let's just go to the doors over here. Right away. Let's see what's going on. Okay, we're fighting. here. Um, go ahead and cure wounds on Jarhild. And then everybody attack the poison spitter. Jarhild do a victorious surge. Wow, that's a tough venom spitter. What's going on back here? I don't know if that thing teleported or what. Oh! And it teleported again! Lydia is still going strong, so. Give me a healing word on Hamid. How can I help? Appreciate that. This should be great. You hit your second win. A lucky hit. So you keep attacking. <laughs> Alexander misses out on XP again. That's okay. 128 this time. Does Charm. anyone else feel like they just got run over by a horse? No, just you. Fourteen gold. Thirteen gold. Alright, let's have a Lydia. Satan smiles upon me. Okay, we're good to go. Um Go ahead and search. At what? Quick save. As you attempt to open the door, a slot opens to reveal someone staring at you from the other side. 
this is dead rat territory. No outsiders allowed. Your friends at the entrance said I could go through. So you were the ones we were told about. Well, just because they let you pass doesn't mean I'm going to let you walk around in our base. Tell you what, if you really want to get in, then maybe you'd be willing to run a little errand for me. What kind of errand? It's very simple. The other day, a buddy of mine pointed out a really nice sword from one of our halls. I told him to go fetch it after it got dropped off at the North Star House. He hasn't returned. Probably passed out somewhere. And I can't go looking for him because I'm too busy keeping suspicious adventurers like yourself out of our hideout. So why don't you save me the trouble? Go fetch that blade for me and I'll let you through. Just tell him you're looking at something and you'll hand it over. And don't be afraid to slap him around a bit if he gives you any crap over it. Hmm. The North Storehouse. I can do that. As you wish. Let's check this door. Right away. Get out of that. Spiritual weapon. Eight, I thought. Oh, it's nine. <laughs> Let's see the good berries fail. So very dangerous on hard. What do you need? These sewers are all that's left of the ancient city of Illus. We don't want to waste time down here. I've heard bad things about what happens in Illusk. Care to enlighten me? Oh, nothing I can think of right now. But I'm sure I'll remember when it happens to us. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. You feel a draft inside the hole in the wall. You are tempted to stick your hand inside. Let's stick your hand inside. Inside it feels surprisingly sludgy. Fill your hand around with dexterity. Success, you feel something inside. Pull your hand out and a sack of gold. Nice, 710 gold and homeless man's boots. 50% poison damage resistance, 15% cold damage vulnerability. I think we're going to put them on her. 50% poison damage resistance is pretty good. Let's check out this chest. Sadly, unavoidable out. Simple, really. And for gold and a rapier. As you wish. Seven hundred ten gold and some pretty nice poison resist boots. It's a nice find there. For nothing. Right away. Hmm. I don't really think you found anything. way. These doors. Hmm. 
not going through here because the white multiple gelatinous cubes and that's just out of our wheelhouse right now. Alright, so let's check this door. Of course. I can do that. A gelatinous cube. Help at your service. <sighs> what can I do for you? Oh, jar hell fell. I don't think we're going to be able to kill this thing without jar hell. Okay, gelatinous cube, wrecking shop. I think something is funky about this room. Let's see if maybe we can get it so it doesn't ambush our whole party underneath it. So now we couldn't detect it at the trap. That'd be cool. It seems like something in a pen and paper game you would have been able to detect as a trap. If you were really keen sensed. As you wish. Okay, let's send our hope in. Do a victorious surge. Lydia, spiritual weapon. Alexander, paralyze it. Comet. Oh wow. Something I can do. We're gonna need some pre battle buffs. We're gonna have to try to blind it right away. We're fighting these two of these at the same time, that's what we ran into earlier. Spiritual weapon. Our hope of commanding shell. On yourself, like Kevin Garnett. Lydia. Neil Jarhelm. 
Comet cast magical weapon on Alexander. Olivia bless us all. Alexander, paralyze it. Still paralyzed. Alright, now let's hit it with the ray of enfeeblement. Alexander, back up. I'm gonna hit it with magic missile. Alexander. Hit with darkness. Oh, it's immune to blind, of course. Throw plasma acid at it. Got it. Flawless victory. A clock doll. A child's doll made in the image of a warrior princess. Hmm, what was the point of this room? Just quite a good uh, gelatinous cube. That'll be a secret in here. Right away. Hmm. At once. Probably is a secret, but I'm not finding it. Um, that way is a dead end. Where was there more doors? door into which light this cube room. And that's going north, so that's probably where we have to go. I had to guess. So we're probably going to have to come up in here. Somehow avoid this fight. Quick save. How do I hit a dagger at the spider lane? No. Ah, oh, that's what I didn't want to happen. I don't know why he ran after it. I didn't order him to. Usually there's not an auto attack. I'd have to somehow get through that room without fighting all those cubes. There you are. Okay, everybody come over here. Jar will run up and kill it. Everybody at your service. You paralyze it. I'm here to help. Lydia. Help. 
You bless us, Comet. You enfeeble it. Oh, it's saved. We're in trouble. What do you drink a potion? Be right back. message and I had to put everything down. Um, we're gonna lose this battle anyway. Well, Lydia's gonna die. Unless yes. I can move her back here or something. Um, it's done. Oh yeah, we're done. There's no playing around with that. They saved after we killed the spiderling at least. And if we can get these cubes out one by one, uh, we should be able to handle this. No. We still have the one. Get in a mobile area. I really apologize. Um, use a healing word on Alexander. Real good, very to yourself. Breathe, friends. We survive once again. There it is. How may I serve? Paralyze it. Lydia. 
That's us. Yes. Omit. The magic weapon on Jarhild. Jarhild. Go get it. It's paralyzed. And, uh, cast the magic missile. We'll do a ray of enfeeblement. Alright, it's not going down fast enough. Um, do a sure strike. Alexander. Hide. And crit it. And to get away. Ugh. Where is Surge? Word. Wounds. Can we try that again? And we lose Your Alexander. Most appreciated. Yes. <sighs> now we've kind of separated the cubes so they're not all gonna drop at the same time so we should be able to head in here now Maybe we should try talking to them. can't talk to a small ogre jelly bro There's the freaking cube. We might as well quit. Nice. Again. Hopefully once we get a little stronger, we won't have as many problems. Okay, the cube. Saba Pierce. This game piece depicts a drow warrior and comes from a Saba game, which is popular among the drow. I think the cube's coming after us, so let's just chill here. I can do that. As you wish. Time. Joe is coming, but where's the... I hear the cube. I'd expect it better. Uh, 
There it is. What do you need? Ray on YouTube. Video blesses. It's paralyzed. Okay, let's get a spiritual weapon out. Comet. It's magic weapon. Olivia. Alexander. Something I can do. Missile. Oh, now it's not paralyzed anymore. Yeah, we're in trouble. Stay alive. Big spell coming. Attacking. What do you need? Paralyzing shout. Sure strike, comment, Lydia. Come on, any means necessary. It's paralyzed or something. Or it's feeding on Alexander. Heads up. That's right. Shout at yourself. Paralyzed or something. Immune to knockdown, oh well. Potion of improved regen, food sample. Alexander just can't stay alive. Does anyone else feel like they just got run over by a horse? So that should do it for the slimes in here. Hold and loose right brick. Of praise is a slightly less common gem, 50 gold worth. Cool. Oof. I can do that. Alright, you stay right at that door and we're gonna paralyze you. Let's try something big, shall we? Hopefully there's no gelatinous cubes. It's immune to slashing, so that's why the game is pausing every attack. And it's immune to lockdown. Knockdown. Surge. Good idea. Yay. I'm gonna pick up the blue sample. Quick save. 
As you look through Joey over there, see a sleeping bag. Seems recently used by a member of the gang or a vagrant from Luskin. out here. Get a magic missile. It's immune to slash if enough bludgeon been spotted. I got it. What's up? Why did Alexander get hurt so bad? Lydia even when he's not fighting, he's taking damage. Oh, Jarhub. Do your second win. Can I help? Sample. A golden and ooze sample. What is it you require? Sack, dirty and cries of praise. At once. Waistband of darkness, ten percent radiant damage resistance. Alchemist fire. And an ill modern statue, the crying god. Put that waistband on somebody. 10% radiance. More defense. Alright, cool, but this is not actually helping. This seems like a dead end. Of course. So, hmm. Is this the northern storeroom? Would even have to fight those cubes? Mysterious stranger. It's empty. Oh, you're still here. Was there something else I can do for you? One of these corpses should have had a sword for us to deliver. A sword? Ah, yes. I thought that looked too fancy for these things. Unfortunately, it may be a little broken. Bastard must have put up quite the fight. Somehow, he broke his own sword before he went down. Here. The blade is still in good condition. I saw a rather large rat run off with the hill. If you hurry, you can still catch it. A rat? You've seen the rat stand here. One could almost ride one up under the surface on its own plane. Safe done. travels. Watch your back. You wouldn't want to end up like these poor saps. A rather large rat, you say? I can do that. Find that rat with the 
sword helmet. Okay. I'm wherever we're at. I feel like um, this room here would be where I'd go. I don't have any hard data on that. As you wish. No. Hmm. Right away. and just step on these plates. Did that actually do anything? Hmm. Of course. Would that be As here? Right away. Strange mushrooms growing out of the sludge. At once. Probably not a good idea to keep them. Of course. I can do that. As you wish. I'm gonna wrap up the hill. Right away. Wrap. Hit the rats. Lydia. Get a spiritual weapon going. Hamet. Infuse Yarhild's weapon. And everybody attack the big rat. Um. Yes. a little sleep spell there. Wow, we are. Decked out. We can fight. Oh, are you kidding me? Alexander went down again. I was just about to brag about how good we were doing. Slow 
rat left, I didn't see him. Lydia leveled up. Done. Wake up Alexander again. Does anyone else feel like they just got run over by a horse? You are quite skilled. Rickle Sword Hill. The broken hilt of Rickle's sword recovered from a rat in the sewers. Would Rickle accept the sword in such a state? Maybe there's someone around who can fix it. Find someone to fix the sword. Alright, Olivia leveled up. She's got three points. Entangle. Arc skin. It still only lasts for 20 seconds. Hmm. Call lightning. Wind wall. Raise the wall of gusting wind from the ground, swirling out to a range of two yards, centered on and moving along with the caster. The wall lasts for 20 seconds. Any creature within the area other than the caster must make a DC 15 strength saving throw. The creature takes 10 to 28 bludgeoning damage on a failed save, or half as much damage on a successful one. The strong wind causes arrows, bolts, and other ordinary objects launched at allied targets behind the wall to deflect upward and automatically miss. That's interesting. Of course, we have Cure Wounds and Prior Healing, we have Celestial Strike, Sacred Flame 2. We went as far with Bless as we can, we found Aid and Revivify. Suffuses a recently fallen creature with Divine Energy, that creature returns to life and regains 13 to 16 hit points. That could keep us gaining experience and not a cheap way like stabilizing I could actually um, revivify Alexander when he falls alright let's get Goodberry 2 Get revivify for two points. Mm. I think it's worth it. I'm thinking like, well, is it really going to be worth it? Because you know he gets up with 13 to 16 hit points, and then what? He's going to get attacked again and die. But he can get up and drink a potion. He can get up and get cured by Lydia. So there are options. There are potentials for a revivified character. Okay, that was just the ooze room. What happened? The spiritual weapon went away. I need to find someone to fix the sword. I guess someone above ground. It's a sack we did. Potion of improved region. At once. Well then, I can always drink a potion of regen too before combat with Alexander so his HP regenerates. What? I said you're free to go, so get moving. So we have to go back up and find someone who can fix the blade. Unless a were rat or a dead rat could do it in their hideout portion. 
not the hideout he's protecting, but that other little niche that they were, a few of them were in. Let's see. Um, junk seller's not fixing anything. We can also try our luck at the, uh, Loses in the cave again. Get some XP from them. As you wish. So who was the blacksmith out here? I don't remember. Right away. Birkins, Prince. At once. Let's come in here. Shailen and Raylio? Of course. Come here. We're eternally grateful, Traveler. Look around some Luskin if you ever need any help. I don't leave my debts unpaid. Okay, he's not doing anything. Jane is not doing anything. Hendrix? Good to see you again, friends. Perhaps someday I can compose a few verses about your adventures. Apprentice. Please deliver those samples to my master as soon as you can and tell her I sent you. All right. Birkins, you're not going to be able to, but we could hopefully do some trading. Grimball is a no. I can do that. Hmm. Who could fix the sword? Me and Ray? Banks. Just simple banter. It's all in. Alabama. Potions of healing. Let's um sell some stuff. Great club, mall, rapier. Uh, Tempest staff deals one lightning damage on hit against two lightning damage. Let's see for a moment if that impacts her. Cantrip damage. Six to eleven. Seven to fifteen. So let's take that off. Her secondary to the bow is going to be Striker. 8 to 16 damage, that's stronger than all that deals 9 poison damage over 10 seconds. 10 seconds is such a long time to wait though. Let's use this longbow and let's sell the spider's bite. So our secondary weapon is just going to be Oh. Long 
that's hard. That's fine. We have timber. Okay, everyone is pretty much set up properly. Let's just see like what we can sell. Should we sell the short ball? Yeah. Wolf's Bane. One to six slash and plus two damage versus beast creatures. But it's not a finesse weapon. I rapture a cacophony. One of the damage I can hit. That's a nice weapon. Plus one hammer can go. Plus one smasher. Oh, you know what though? You should have a bludgeoning. Uh, secondary. Which would give you the Great Maw of the Hammer. And you... Well, uh, you have Piercing and Piercing. You should have a Slashing Secondary, but you can't really. Unless you do Bolt Spade. Secondary. So we'll keep Wolf's Bane for now. Stuff like skeletons that we fight that have resistance to piercing. Halberd, sell it. Berkwood, stone cutting, sell it. Warrior's Blade, plus 8% chance that's for Yarhill, sell it. Keen Sword, one to flashing. Require Scimitar, we can sell it. Tempest Staff. You know, that should be her secondary. And then a longsword. Should give her the Tempest Staff. So she has a bludgeoning weapon. If necessary. Um, I'm gonna hang on to that. I'm gonna sell that and the longsword. Let's see, steel gauntlets. Buy cloth shoes, dwarven boots, medium boots, medium boots, braces of thievery. Sell them red tiger boots. Plus five all piercing damage dealt. Ooh. I, why did I miss those? Putting them on instead of plus one to dexterity. Now he does 10 to 15 and 10 to 16. 20 to 31 damage. Um, plus one to dexterity. He's already got that. You need dexterity? With your cantrip. Cool down reduction, yeah, keep that. Um, I guess we can sell the nimble shoes. Got a sink shirt for 20, a torque for 19, a locket for 24, and a loop for 36. Not touching any of this stuff. Alright, so you have more potions of healing. Plus one carver. It's a finesse. Dead eye. One to two pierce in critical range plus ten plus five percent action speed. Interesting. 
uh, we're just gonna grab. So we have ten hip, ten potions. As for fixing a sword, what about the guy who was like, "I'm done working with you"? Where is he? something behind there. Or that is a snake. Oh a long sword. As you wish. Good enough for me. I guess someone who can fix the uh, sword is in the sewers. See anyone above ground that can fix it? Special vendor. See there. What do you have? Plastic mask and plastic glue. Probably not enough movement speed damage to really hold like a gelatinous cube halfway across the screen when you kill everything else. That's just not really feasible. Um, Grimball the wine merchant? You know anything? has poisons and stuff that could come in useful. Oils and poisons. Climbing for two minutes. Fall unconscious. Paralyzed for 30 seconds. Plus one scepter. Toxic edge. Yields one point. Poison damage on hit, liver and poison. We coat our weapons with it. The shield of flame might be good for Jar Hilled. What is her current shield? Doesn't show it. Oh, it's because she's got the wall on. We better change our weaponry. See, he's using a staff. Um, where'd the shield go? Oh, deals one radiant damage to attackers. Armor class one. Shield of flame is armor class two deals one flame damage, so I'm gonna buy that. Or is radiant damage? Oh, that is better. Alright, we're gonna look at these next time, and I'm gonna save here. And then we'll head back into the sewers looking for somebody to uh, fix the sword, because I've got some stuff to do in real life. So much love, peace, joy, and light to you guys. Appreciate the viewership. Stay tuned for more Sword Coast Legends adventures. So long, everyone.